Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Vumeo Station. What's up, Lumio Station, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Data Dex with me, the one in rule. In the last episode, I asked you guys to vote either for um, Furfru or for Diggersby, and eventually the votes came out. Furfru just about won. It was just about, just just slightly, um, just a very close vote, but Furfru eventually won in the end, so that's good. We're going to be focusing on Furfru today. Next week, I'm going to be choosing the Pokemon myself, um, just because I have to actually create it very quickly, um, just because Nappy is, it, it, long story short, I'm going to be choosing for next week's Pokemon, unfortunately, but after that, we'll get Le Mega Evolution as well. So that's all good, guys. Um, but yeah, no vote this week. I'm going to be choosing next week's Pokemon. Sorry about that, but that's just the way it's got to be this week. So let's get on and look at Furfru, shall we? Furfru is a pure normal type Pokemon and is number 676 in the National Pokedex and also 99, number 93 in the Central Canvas Pokedex. It is the Poodle Pokemon, as you could sort of tell, and stands at 3 foot 11 inches tall or 1.2 meters tall and weighs 61.7 pounds or 28 kilograms. It's in the field egg group and the male female split is half and half, so same chance to get a male as it is to get a female. Furfru does not evolve from or into anything, so it's basic Pokemon on its own. Taking a quick look at Furfru's base stats, we can see it's, at its best stat is actually speed, but that's not really what we use Furfru for, which we'll look at in a minute. Um, it also has a pretty high special defense stat, as well as a reasonably high attack stat, not, not amazing, but reasonably high, and then its health points, defense, and special attack are sort of, you know, Slightly lacking, but as we look at in a minute, defense does get a bit of a boost. First, looking at its typing, being a pure normal type Pokemon, there's not a whole lot here. Uh, it's weak to fighting types, it's immune to ghost types, and it takes neutral damage from all the rest, so it's just a basic normal type Pokemon. Obviously, normal type isn't the best type since, um, you know, sort of, it's, 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 well, it's alright, it's not too many weaknesses, not too many um, strengths, so yeah, at least you got one immunity there. Looking at Furfru's ability, which is what I said was going to affect the defense stat, its ability is Fur Coat, which halves the damage it takes from physical moves, which is very interesting, um, because that means you basically your, your defense doubles to 120, which gives you a pretty damn high defense stat, uh, combined with something else we'll look at in a minute in, in the move section, that works very, very well indeed. So, the moves that you might want to teach your Furfru. Starting with the leveling up, we shall have level 42, Sucker Punch, which is a nice dark type move, nice powerful physical dark type move. Obviously it's, um, you know, it only works with Pokemon that are going to attack you, but it can be used very well. Next is the move that is the, the move, it's the move, it's the move, it's level, level 48, it's Cotton Guard. Now when you use Cotton Guard, it increases your defense not once, not twice, but by three stages. Um, which is very, very good. Which in, in two turns, you could have maximum defense. Combine that with your 120 de uh, base defense stat, or 160 times by two, you have a very, very high defensive stat, which means it's a, a, just a complete wall against uh, a, a physical attacking Pokemon. Team 06, Toxic learns, which is obviously because you know, we're looking at a defensive Pokemon here, so we're looking more at stalling out rather than attacking, so Toxic is always, always helpful there. TM27 learns return, or can learn return via TM27. Obviously, you can get a stab from that, which is going to make it even better. TM28 can learn dig, um, or go on, you know, another just sort of another coverage move. Really, it doesn't have that many moves, but obviously, not many um, sort of you know, offensive attacking moves for through. But dig is uh, a sort of a viable one there. Not as viable as some of the other, because obviously, if you use dig, they can just switch out to a flying type Pokemon on the next turn um, if they want to sort of just be immune to that and get an attack off. So maybe not the best move, but it is possible. Then TM73 learns Thunder Wave, a nice electric type move there, uh, which obviously going to paralyze your opponent. TM89 can learn U-Turn, bug type move for switching in and out, and then TM93 Wild Charge, a nice powerful electric type move, um, which is good obviously because you're a physical attacker. Plus, um, if you're looking at using a leftover set, obviously that's sort of going to boost up against the Wild Charge sort of thing. So if we move on to looking at the Wi-Fi setup for Furfru, there's only one here because Furfru is very, it's a, it's a basic Pokemon, there's not a huge amount of stuff you can do with Furfru, it's a basic set. We have Cotton Guard, Return, Thunder Wave or Toxic, and then U-Turn. Its ability is Fur Coat since that's the only ability it gets, Nature being Impish, Held Item being Leftovers, EVs at maximum health points, maximum defense, and the rest in special defense. So this is a pure physical defense bulk sort of set. Cotton Guard obviously is going to raise your defense as much as you can, so use that pretty much as soon, or at least get one of those off when you, as soon as you get in, uh, into the battle pretty much. 
Then we have Return, which is your main attacking move. And then we have Thunder Wave or Toxic. Thunder Wave for using just, just to paralyze them, so obviously you'll be healing them faster. And you can maybe just switch around to your other Pokemon if you want to. And then Toxic just to stall out if you would obviously like to do that. Then we have U-Turn, which is obviously a coverage move in case there's a Ghost type out, which is obviously going to be immune to Return. If it's a, if it's a, if it's a Gengar, it's going to completely wall you, so obviously you're going to have to get out of there. U-Turn is also helpful if you maybe go into battle and then you can predict, they say that, that you predict them switching into a special attacker. You don't really want to stay in, so you can U-Turn out of there, uh, which is good. Really, you need to look at what, what, they, what they have left on their team um, when you're using Fur Fruit, because you don't want to just stay, stay in and set up defensively and for them to send their special attacker out and just get through you easily. Ability is Furka, obviously doubling your defense. N Nature is Impish, raising your defense, lowering your special attack, which is when I mean, it's a pure defense there here. Held item being leftovers, since obviously you need the leftovers there to get the health points back. EVs, we're just working on physical bulk here. Bit of special bulk just to help you out, but you know, you could switch the Impish Nature out for a, um, is it a Calm Nature or a Quiet? No, Calm Nature, most likely, I think. Or, you know, a nature that boosts special defense and lowers special attack. Um, because then you could have sort of a mixed, which wouldn't be as, as brilliant, but you could still have some more special bulk there. You could also switch out the final move U-turn just for another coverage move like Sucker Punch, Dig, or Wild Charge. Um, obviously, as I've said already, you're going to get completely walled by Ghost types uh, if you haven't got another move. So, uh, or at least Gengar, um, or other Ghost Poison types. So Sucker Punch is obviously going to be super effective against them, uh, or you can use Dig and Wild Charge and stuff like that. It's really up to you, and that's really just how you use Fur Fruit. You get in, you set up some defensive bolt with Cotton Guard, you need to watch their team to see if they've got anything that could come in and easily take you out, like a special fighting type, etc. Um, or yeah, just something like that, guys. So that's pretty much how you use Fur Fruit. That's all I can say for Data Decks here. It's a full physical bulk. Just got to get in there, set some cotton guards up, and then you know, just set up, you know, Toxic or Fun Away will just return away. So, guys, I'll be seeing you next time. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Obviously, as I said, no vote this week, unfortunately. But don't forget to smash that like button down below. Check out all the other content on Lumio Station. My channel will be linked in the description too if you want to check that out. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Goodbye, everyone.